Facts First presents 14-year-old online gaming addict headbutts his mother when she takes the game away. Many kids today love their video games. Some play for a few hours each day, others become completely addicted to the games. Fortnite is one of those most popular video games out right now. It is an extremely popular battle royal game, and kids will spend days playing the game. Well, one mother says that she lost her 14-year-old son to Fortnite, and she revealed that when she tried to take the game away from him, he headbutted her. The mom in question here is Britta Hodge. Her son Logan was addicted to online games, and Fortnite was his new obsession. The Australian mom says that her son played Fortnite all day and all night. She says he only left the room to go to the bathroom or to eat. According to Britta, Logan always loved sports. He played baseball outside with his friends, loved to ride his bike, spent most of his time playing outdoors. But when she got him a PlayStation 4 for Christmas, that all changed. He started playing games like Ark, Destiny, Call of Duty, and Minecraft. Logan played these games, but he did other things as well. When she got him the game Fortnite, his addiction grew out of control. The games had over 125 million players all over the world, and Logan started communicating with people on the other side of the planet. Britta says that Logan stopped playing with his friends in the neighborhood so that he could play online with his friends overseas. Soon, he was staying up all night to play the game, making it difficult for him to stay awake when in school. Soon, he was pretending to be sick so he could stay in his room all day and continue to play Fortnite. Britta really started to worry when Logan told her that the only thing that gives him happiness now is when he's playing Fortnite. Britta says that her son was so engaged in the fake world that she couldn't get him to engage in the real world hardly at all. Finally, she decided enough was enough, and she went into Logan's room and, like a true parent, she took the cord to his PlayStation away. She hoped that that would make him get out of bed and go play outside. She never expected what happened next. When she took the cord, Logan became furious. He looked at his mother and headbutted her. He hit her so hard, in fact, she lost consciousness, and the doctors told her she had a concussion. Britta realized her son had a full-blown addiction. She said that an addiction is an addiction, whether it's drugs, alcohol, gambling, video games, whatever. Britta was so worried about her son that she took him to see a doctor. According to the doctor, they had never seen such a chronic case of video game addiction before. Britta is not sure what happened with her son Logan. She says she has five other children and none of them are addicted to video games. Britta says that she has tried everything to get her son involved back in school and with his friends again, but nothing works. And it wasn't until her son physically attacked her that she realized that she needed to get professional help to get her son to fight this addiction. Britta says the reason she came forward with her story was that she wanted other parents to understand how serious online gaming addiction can become. Kids, teens, and even adults are at risk of developing an addiction to online games that consume their entire lives. Britta says that if she knew then what she knows now, she would never have bought her son the game console to begin with. If she did buy the game, she says that she would have limited him to an hour or two of play each day. She's gone public with her story so that other parents wouldn't have to go through what her family has been through. Britta says that Logan's continuing with his therapy sessions with a psychologist. She hopes that soon her son will be back to living a normal, real life rather than being so consumed with his fantasy life. She says that they're really taking it just one day at a time. What do you think? Was his mom doing the right thing by taking away the video game? If so, click that like button and let us know. And also, what's your favorite video game? Which one are you the closest to being addicted to? Tell us in the comments and subscribe for more.